Welcome to another version of Will It Measure? Today's challenge is to measure a wire basket, or more correctly, we want to inspect a wire basket. We know the nominals, and we have some tolerances that we know that this needs to be manufactured inside of. So we're going to utilize the Microscribe MX, and we're going to utilize Moby Gauge software. Okay, now that we've reverse engineered the part and make the assumption we've manufactured the part, I want to show an inspection process. The customer needs to also inspect and understand the given dimensions of the product. We're going to switch to a piece of software called Moby Gauge for the inspection process. So, Moby Gauge is a small inspection piece of software, blueprint style, that enables us to utilize the microscribe and Moby Gauge. I've already taken the liberty of running, or excuse me, writing a run plan. Uh, what we're going to want to know is some of the distances. So we're going to measure the top plane, uh, excuse me, measure the plane of the table, the top, left, right, front, and back planes. We're also going to pull a point off of the top, back, and the top front so that we can register some height measurements. These will report out the various distances, the angles, and the distance in the back and the front. So let's go ahead and run this measurement. I'm going to uh, clear all the data that's in the screen. Let's go ahead and say measure all. So Moby Gauge will guide me through the process by prompting me to measure the plane table. So we'll go ahead and take that information. Again, we're utilizing the hand switch and the microscribe to collect the data. I'm going to bring the point down to the table and take a point. Take a second point, take a third point, take a fourth point. Utilizing the top of the button, or the button on top, to move to the next measurement. Moby Gage is now asking me to measure the top plane. It will ask me to measure the left plane. and then the right plane. The front plane. Then the back plane. Let's take a point on the very top. Take a point on the front so we can get our height measurements. And it's completed its data acquisition. Let's move on to the reporting format. I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, refresh button so we can bring in the new data. And you can see the report information it's telling us distance left to right. We measured a distance of 12.4129. It's got a delta or a deviation value of a negative 0.8 or excuse me, 0 0.0179. Let's see where that's coming from. So if we go back to that run plan and we look at the distance measurement, you can see that we created a distance. We're going to report it. These are the elements, the plane left and the plane right that we're looking at. Here's the nominal value that I entered into the system. And then I told it to go ahead and do a no-go gauge tolerance on it for length. Uh, and use the tolerance of 0.1. So if we go back to our report, we can see how that value came out. Here's the measurement from distance uh, front and back, the angular measurement from the top to the back, so it's measuring the plane to the back, left side angle from the table to the, uh, the left side, right side angle, distance in the back, distance in the front. If you notice, there's an OK here. That means that these measurements that were acquired fell within the tolerance of the nominal and reported an OK. If they were not, it would report in red and it would say OOT or out of tolerance. So this gives you a quick way to inspect 
this basket and find that it's in tolerance and ready to be sent out to the consumer. So I want to thank you for taking a look at this version of Will It Measure, the wire basket. Yes, it will measure. And I think that we've shown you the reverse engineering process all the way through the inspection process. Thank you for taking a look at this version of Will It Measure, the wire basket. And yes, it will measure. If you'd like more information about our products, you can contact us at www.gomeasure3d.com or feel free to give us a call at 434-946-9125. Thank you.